before starting this session let me introduce myself so myself rashekar i have 12 plus years of experience so in android development as well as the training so as not i am only the faculty i am also the real time working person so today here uh, we will concentrate uh, so we will concentrate on android development related things so what are the things it will be involved in that so that let we'll see maybe you have anyone here already working on android or if you are a fresher so in case if you are a working on a android developer so you must have the knowledge about what we are going to cover today or if you want to become a developer so this is the way you to how to learn these things and how you became an uh, android developer so that we will discuss in a uh, next one to one half hour in detail of each and everything this so that is this so now let us uh, start this introduction so now first of all before this like what is android anyone anyone known about this android what is android so what is android so let let us start this so this is the first just is introduction now so this is the this is what is android first so in a simple words i'll tell you the definition of the android so you will remember only the simple small words from there you can uh, form your sentence as for your not like in a simple words android is an operating system and it is an open source like it is a development environment and it is linux kernel just you can remember these four words so with these four words easily we can uh, form the sentence like android is an operating system for mobiles as well as the tabs tv watch like nowadays it is for us but initial days it is only for the mobiles now it is on a uh, many things like yeah someone sai krishna has messaged here software is used for mobile and other applications right exactly so now this is for many things so now tv watch android uh, phone tablet next is the other many electronic gadgets has coming like nowadays so for all this it is an uh, operating system like what is operating system operating system is nothing but it's a bridge between the software and hardware for example now you are seeing my screen i am using one operating system i am using the now it is a my mac right? i am using the mac operating system so in a mac operating system whatever i am sharing you are able to see there that is because of the hardware and software combination because hardware display purpose hardware is helping that same you are watching that using the software right like that and uh, also here whatever i am talking you are able to listen my voice also that is also this operating system only is doing that so that is a bridge between this two it will create operating system like in a mobile side means in a website like for example like in our uh, uh laptop desktop side there are many operating systems are there windows linux mac centos solaris like many operating system are there but majorly people has using the windows who are having the apple macbook they are using the mac of mac and some people are using the linux like that depends on the area we will use like in a mobile side presently in a market only there are two operating systems one is the android other is the ios right 
So here we are discussing about the Android. Android next is the it's a open source. So what is an open source? Open source means it is uh, simply uh, like what we are doing like free of cost. So how that free of cost, like simple example for this air. We are not paying anything to a right. We are getting that completely free, free of cost. So that is open source. Here, how this is the open source for our Android. Like this word, we can justify in a different ways. Like if you are a developer, if you are already a developer, so you are getting the development environment has free of cost. So in case, because no need to pay anything for the development environment, also you have huge community support. So let that that is uh, very helpful for the developer. For example, if you are a manufacturer, if you are a manufacturer, so even if you are a manufacturer, you can get a support is free, like the operating system. You can download the operating system with free of cost, and you can get the this easily with easy way we can get the free of cost. Next, if you are end user, we all are the end users who are using our uh, Android phones. So for that, it is the completely 99% of the applications we are getting the free of cost. So that is end user perspective, okay. right? Then development environment. So this is a development environment where we can develop the apps with easily that is a development environment next is the linux kernel and this is the linux based operating system it will run on the top of the linux kernel so that's the reason we are saying this is the linux based operating system this is a linux kernel so this is the definition of the android so you have any questions on this linux this is you have any questions on this so if you are clear I can go with the next step. Next, okay. So I'm going to the next step. So this is the top Android features. Like what are the features? So means uh, uh, just now I said iOS is also there. In case if iOS is there, why you need to prefer Android? Means there are some unique features compared to that iOS here. We have the some unique features. Like for example, first one is the storage. So here in our Android, like some of the applications are work with uh, two modes, right? Offline and online. What is the example for that offline and online application? Our WhatsApp, Facebook. These two are the Two modes it has the two modes online and offline how how can we justify that how can we justify that it is offline and online for example right now my internet is off okay so um my my internet is off i can able to send one message means i i type one message hi hello good morning how are you like i type message and I click on send. Then what happens? Then what happens? Until your internet has connected, that could be stored on your mobile locally. When the net has connected, then immediately that message can send to the home you sent. Right? That is the local. Like means here we can manage easily with the two things offline and online that is the first benefit with this next is the connectivity so here our android can support for whatever the types of connectivity technologies are available in a market almost it can support for all like gsm cdma bluetooth Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, 5G, whatever, like the connectivities are available, it can support for us. 
and also it can support for messaging sms and mms like whatever we are sending in a whatsapp now those all are mms kind of like means previously if you want to send an SM mms that is supporting only few phones that too you need to pay lot of amount for that to send one video mms means multimedia message so but nowadays with free of cost we are sending those that is this and next it can support multi language right i can able to send message in uh, telugu hindi english whatever your mother tongue you can send messages in now your mother tongue majority of the languages it can support right web browsers so here we can use many browsers like maximum of the browsers here we can use like we can use the chrome firefox next other browsers opera whatever the browsers are there like many browsers we can use even if you are a developer if you want to develop your own browser also you can develop that browser using the webkit layout engine we have the facility to develop your webkit engine like i am a manufacturer so i am a manufacturer of one of this like i want to build my name my on my name i want to release one browser so that using the webkit you can develop this and here this can support for the java also kotlin so both languages so both java and kotlin both languages are the platform independent so it can run in any environment that's the reason it will be whatever the java features are there whatever the kotlin features are there all the java and kotlin features it can support so it is very simple and robust and uh, platform independent and it can support the oops concepts it can support the threads it can support the io streams it can support the exceptions everything whatever we have java related features each and every small including small feature it can support right so in even in between if you have any question just you can uh, unmute yourself and ask or you can send me a message and chat i can see and i can answer your question right next media support so this can be support for all type of media like mm -hmm. i want to use mp3 mp4 cp and the image formats like all whatever the image formats whatever the audio formats whatever the video formats are there it can support all formats of audio video mp3 like it can support all the formats like if it if i go with ios it cannot support for all it should require some customizations there to support that right that is one next is the streaming media support so it can support for live streaming so like uh, we can able to see now live tvs in our mobile right so that it can support live stream and it can support additional softwares like uh, cameras touch screens gps sensors getter effects etc like whatever we are using now fingerprint scanner and uh, face scanner like these all the things it can support here this right next is the multi touch so android has an native support for this multi touch so it has multi touch because of that only we can able to easily touch with the fingers right next is the bluetooth so nowadays the bluetooth is very important because maximum of people are using the bluetooth devices to connect the audio or using the bluetooth you can connect with the iot's so you can connect with the printer you can connect with other iot devices that is very important here now this is and next is the video calling so it can support for the video calling so video calling means previously it is the streaming means one presenter multiple views but here video calling means it's a p to p person to person so that is now we can able to see the person to person then next is the multitasking 
So what is multitasking? At a time, I can do multiple things. While watching, uh, while uh, watching movie, I can able to see some other activity. Like I can split my screen into two parts. I can do R one in background, other is in foreground. Like that also, I can do multiple things. Like threatening, like you can share your Wi-Fi with uh, other people wireless easily. In a latest version, by scanning the QR code itself, automatically your Wi-Fi should connect it to their people. Like that facility is introduced here. And the last is external device. Like I can use SD card also to store the data, right? I can use SD card to store the data. So that is the next benefit fear process, right? So hope this features wise, it is clear. Then next, I move to the next step. So that next steps only very important because this is the just introduction for next. So this is versions. So Android has many versions. Like it has many versions. So each version has some name and the some name and version code, one API level and the release date we will see here clearly one by one see here so here if you see here first two versions there is no specific names but each version has the version numbers and api level what is api level that is the application program interface means each version has some specific features so that specific features I can access through this API level only API uh, architecture. So that all the features that can be stored in this particular API so that I can able to access from there. I can use the features in my development right here. First two, we cannot say that is uh, because first two versions, it is not released as an operating system that is released as a basic versions as a mobile normal application that's a reason that should not be considerable that is a uh, uh, 2008 and 2009 after that from cupcake onwards it has android operating system that is released in 2009 for that api level it is and donut so september in the same year eclair is same year october so it means in a one year gap it is released at three versions then proyo may then gingerbread december 2010 honeycomb 2011 and high cream sandwich also 2011 then jelly beans so kit kat lollipop marshmallow nagout to see this is each and every version has released almost in a initial stages it's three four months gap after that one year gap like depends on the stability it has many things it has stated here like versions there are version wise API levels, each version has the release dates. It has like recently the newer version has released that is a uh, Android 40 that is released in a October itself. So October 4th, that newer version has released, which recently released in 14. This is right. This is the versions. So the next is the architecture. This is very important here how your application will work this is the architecture so without the architecture knowledge you cannot means from above that is the basic information but if you are already the developer or you are going to become a developer this is a very important here anyone are working with uh, already working with working Anyone here already working on uh, Android or you are watching your job? Like maybe in uh, other platform in trainings. Okay. Other people? Like what about you, Arsha, Narendra, Suraj? What about you people who are already in training or already in job? Okay, so 
let me continue this session. Other platform, okay. Okay, now, so here now, this is the very important step architecture. So anything, if you want to do something for that, the free plan architecture is nothing but it's a blue diagram for the your this for example in a simple words i'll tell you the architecture so this next weekend i want to go to my hometown what is the plan for that may i may book for the tickets for bus or by train, or by flight, or by car. So each has their different. Like if I book the ticket for train, I have different schedule. I have booked for the bus, it has different schedules. Like accordingly, we'll plan each and every activity, right? Like that, it is also here, very important here. <laughs> so whatever you are doing the things, that should be, has a, some proper plan. Then only it can work. Here, this is our picture. means everything this will work. First, I don't want to go each and every in detail now initially. Like for example, first I want to tell here, Android architecture has different layers. One is the system apps, Java API framework, Java R Kotlin. Next is the native C++ libraries, then Android runtime. So hardware abstraction layer, Linux kernel means total there are four five like five different steps are there in the architecture system apps api framework native c plus library and our runtime java abstraction layer and linux kernel so how this will work for example so for example if i am a so for example if i am opening the camera so the camera need one uh, you view so that it will comes to from here to here right from you it goes to the it required to display something that is one activity activity means here ui so that ui it calls this ui from there it required support of libraries it will come the media library then for this it required the runtime permission then for this hardware is required camera then it required camera drivers right here camera drivers then it goes to binder ipc inter process communicator so inter process communicator is the binder ipc so here now it will combine all the request camera view system activity media and runtime from here camera then camera driver all together it will combine here and directly it can interact with the user from here directly so that is the architecture of the android means each and every app when we open each and every app it should go layer by layer layer by layer maybe sometimes it may be skip some of the things it can execute like something like for example uh some hardware like the uh, i'm open the you uh contacts for the contacts hardware is not required right it may skip that hardware abstraction layer from here directly can jump into this so but some maybe some skip or sometimes in some of the layer it may be touch two portions also so that is like that depends on the situation that is depends see like in the cam camera i'm recording the video so video required audio also here it will touch camera and audio here also it will touch camera and audio like that sometimes it may touch two it may touch one that is a depends on architecture this is the architecture of the android this is. so in a definition also just we discussed about the linux kernel so it will run on the top of the linux kernel means without drivers your applications cannot run right so that's the reason it always depends on the linux kernel operating system it will uh, run on the top of the linux kernel only it may it is running on the this right that is a depends on the linux kernel now it will run like this then this is basic structure of this then 
Next is the very important thing. Components of the iron rod. So what are the components? These four are the main and important component of iron rod. So these components are very important. That is uh, like four components. One is the activities, services, broadcast receiver, and content provider. So these four are very, very important. If you have knowledge on these four components, so easily you can develop the applications. Easily you can develop the applications means static applications. So what is the static application? So static application means which is not having the communication between the or communication with server. Whatever the operations you are doing, that can be applicable on your mobile only. So it not interact with the server. Like activity. Activity means this is the UI. UI related. Activity is nothing but in our case, it is the Android is on the UI part. So I am creating the camera application or I am creating the contacts application or I am creating the other applications like that kind of applications you can build on the top of this that can be suitable for you. That is, we can say activity. So with the activities, we can build application that is a single page, each and every page, whatever the design you are doing on that, that comes into this activity. Means this activity can interact with the users. So that is the activities. Next is the services. So what is the services? Services is nothing but it can run on the background. It handles the background process. Like I set alarm. I set alarm at 6 a.m. So how that will work with the alarm background activity can be handled by the services. Next is the broadcast receiver. So the broadcast receiver is nothing but it can be interact with the users. So like that is a kind of a alerts, system alerts, like uh, your phone has uh, low battery, uh, Wi-Fi is available, Bluetooth is available, like that kind of things that can be handled by the broadcast receivers. Next is the content provider. So content provider means this is a very important, the content provider. This can interact with the user, like uh, simple example is the WhatsApp or Facebook, so what this can do. Like, uh, I'm saving the contacts in my WhatsApp, oh, sorry, contacts, right? I'm saving your name uh, with XYZ in contacts. So when I install the WhatsApp, automatically your name can be reflected there in the WhatsApp. How, once I install the WhatsApp, it is asking the permission, right? Hello, contacts permission. Allow camera permission, allow media permission, like the gallery permission. So these all are the example for the content provider means accessing the data from the other application that simply we can say has the content provider. So these all are the examples for the content provider. Like how we can do means if you are a developer, you need to have knowledge on these four components. Then only you can become a developer. Right. Next. So next we will see. This is the very, very important. Means whatever we discussed above, that is for the static application. But if you want to become 100% developer in uh, this, you need to have the knowledge on these areas, web services. This is very, very important. Without this web services knowledge, you never get the job outside. This is must and should, you need to have the knowledge on this. Like web services means, you are interacting with the server. 
means whatever the data here i am entering here that you are storing on a server or whatever the data is there on a server you can access that to your application for this example is like whatsapp facebook gmail because I am sending data from here to there means in between that is saving somewhere. Even the phone pay, Google pay. Simply, how can I justify which application has link with web service? Simply turn off your network on your mobile. Open, try applications. What are the applications are working fully functional with uh, without internet? that is not having the relation with the web services but whatever the applications you are not accessing full functionality without internet that is communicating with the server like flipkart amazon google pay phone pay paytm whatever the application those all are the applications are having the relation i mean having the link with web services and the web services in our android <coughs> we can build the applications using the three types of concepts async task retrofit volley so companies some of the companies are using the async task and some of the companies are using the retrofit some of the companies are using the volley so these all are the different uh, aspects of this so that we can able to check this right so this is the three types of web services things we can able to use in our application level. So that is a very important. Like that is yes, 60% of the companies are using the retrofit and 30% of the people are using the Wally. Only 10% of people are using the async task. So, but we are working with the Kotlin. Only Kotlin we can do only two things. One is the retrofit, other is the volley. We cannot implement async task in a Kotlin. So that is like, so this is a simple way of uh, sending the data to server and retrieving the data from the this. So that is, we can able to see clearly with this. So that is a web services related. So if you have any questions as of now, is it clear? Any questions on this web services or this? So you must have the knowledge on these things before, uh, means if you are, if you want to become a developer, you must, should have the knowledge on this. This is very, very, very important. Means without web services, you cannot get a job in an industry. Yeah, that too, in a web services, if you are aware of basic things also, it is not not sufficient. Because if someone goes for interview, nowadays, majority of the cases, they are conducting the system test along with the oral. They are conducting the system test. They will give some task. And that too, 80% of the cases, they will give the system test with web services related only. Right. With that only, you will get the job for this. If you don't have practical knowledge on this platform, you won't get the job. That is the reason you must practice, practice, practice. Whatever you are learned, even it is a basic also practice more examples like for example already someone said uh, is another training so like let us say you are practicing the very basic button and text combination button and text combination you can search in a google what are the possibility of examples each and every possibility of the example you can try here like for example, uh, by clicking the button, like in a text, you can uh, you can take a few numbers. 
we can display 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 10 numbers i want to reverse that just you can put the button name as a reverse order we can write the algorithm for the reverse order you can display the numbers in reverse or you can take 1 to 100 in between of 1 to 100 or find the prime numbers and prime the hard numbers like that kind of more and more practice is required algorithms are very very important for the developer if you have a knowledge on algorithms means i'm not asking the code wise code will get somewhere but you should have the knowledge on the algorithm so that basic algorithms you can practice along with the regular class whatever the examples you are going so then those can help for your career growth right so yeah this is the things in web services these are the major things we need to have the knowledge on this then after this is the next very very important this is the fragments so in a simple word the fragment fragment is the generalized word that for fragment is piece piece of the whatever you have i have a one a4 sheet i am uh, splitted into multiple papers like i cut the eight papers nine papers each paper i can say has a one fragment here also the same concept i can split my screen into multiple views in each view i want to load the separate content separate content for that like in home page first i want to show like it is the uh, e-commerce application let us say flipkart amazon First, I'm giving some slide. Okay, that slide contains today offers. Then next immediately it was uh, like uh, coupons. Next, your favorites. Next, recent visits. Like that kind of different different uh, things I'm making on uh, this and that too whatever the content you are showing nowadays you can think of over on ai based what is ai artificial intelligence so that artificial intelligence you need to use on your application so that your app will become more and more like what is artificial intelligence in e-commerce application, what artificial intelligence tool I can use? No need of any other third party tool. Simply, this week I searched for the mobiles. Okay, I'm searching for the, I want to buy a mobile. I searched for the mobile, but I not buy the mobile. Just you can save the data. Then when next time same user open that you can show on the top these are not the mobile size price up these are the mobile like that you can uh, have that information so like that it can be attract the users right because is recent search it will be usually you can use like that kind of easiness you need to create on your applications just time i said one small example for the artificial intelligence like phone pay now nowadays everyone are using the phone pay google pay what it can do once when i recharge today my plan is for 28 days once that my plan has expired it says that uh, uh recharge once i open that recharge it says that recharge 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 means what happens for that as a end user you will get one benefit for you and as an application i also get the benefit because with that i can get the 
I can get the business, right? If you recharge, I'll get some commission. If I give the recent uh, like mobiles offers, maybe you buy, I'll get business again. I like that. Think over, improve the business and that can help for the end users. That kind of things you need to concentrate on your application level development. Right, that is the this, the next step. So, material design. This material design is also very, 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 very important nowadays. Because to attract the users, I want to attract the user. I have a very good application, very good unique functionalities application in a Play Store. But people are not showing any interest to download my application because once they install my application, they are not understanding the application flow. So they are not understanding my application flow, how to use. They don't know how to use my application. Then who will show interest on to the, install my application? Means you need to make user-friendly application that without developer guidelines, user has to understand your application flow. If you want that, if you want that, you need to use this material design with combination of the again the AI combination to make attractive user interface. Then only the people can install your application and they can watch you, they can use your application. This material design is the to make high level UI designers of the Google has in, introduced this. This using this, whatever the applications now, 90% of the applications, whatever we are using now, that is having the material design only. Not only the Android, iOS web applications also, we can use this material design. This is by Google, also Android by Google. So in a simple way, we can use this in our application, right? That is, you must have this knowledge and to become a perfect developer. Next, Firebase. So what is this Firebase? So the Firebase is the very important thing that is a uh, Firebase cloud messaging. This is also by Google. So using this nowadays, we can do many things. Like uh, I want to create application. I want to create application like WhatsApp. Means charting application. I want to create a charting application. That can be you do using this. Or I want to send a notification to the user. Like just now, as we discussed. So today we have offers for the laptops or for the mobiles. So I want to send a notifications to the users who are already used your application last week with or means who are such mobiles. I can send a notification to anyone today offer for this mobile, the price drop 20%, 30% like that. That can help using this. This is also one of the AI tool for the your mobile application. And also, like the, I uploaded my application in a Play Store. 
installed 100 members. For 10 members, unexpectedly, my application has crashing. Means it is not working in the 10 mobiles. But how can I know that? Normally, we don't know until they comment. But if you use the Firebase, even though they won't send any notify any comment, we can get to know that as a developer, you will receive an email. So and so Samsung Android 13, your mobile is not your app is not working because of this reason. And then what happens? You can resolve that issue and you can re-upload the application in a Play Store so that it can become easy to after a few days, your application will become easily with the user attraction. This means with perfect, stable. You will get the stable application after a few days. Right. So that is what so that is a uh, using Firebase. Like not only that, even using this as this, we can uh, we can put the application in a dynamic application. We can create a dynamic application. Like I want to store the data in server. I can store the data in server, and I can uh, use that in uh, my application level so that I can do. And the uh, next is the uh, to build a starting kind of applications. And I want to sign up with the uh, Google. I want to sign up with uh, all social media applications so that I can use many things. So that it can has more than 10 features it has. And the more than 10 features in our Android, around seven to eight features we will use in a regular applications. Means each and every application must, you need to use that features. That is very important that you have to have the knowledge. What are those? So that is the Firebase reader. Right. You have any questions as of now? Hope it is clear. Or you have any questions? Gopal, Narendra, Sai. Okay. Hope it is clear. I'm going with the next slide. So next is the SQLite. So the SQLite is very, very important. So that is like here. Yeah, Firebase, in a Firebase, there is a database also, we can use that. But it is a, not a uh, structured database. It is a no SQL concept. It means it will store the data in a, uh, trees concept so that is a different uh, this is not a relational database it is a normal database it can create no sql concept we can store the data but it is uh, non non structured data so the next is the sqlite so if you are developing the application that is non-transactional, non-payment transactional application. Like, uh, means semi, semi like for example, uh, any social media application, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, these are the social media, or any e-commerce, Flipkart, Amazon, or like that kind of mantra, like whatever this is. So if you are developing such kind of application, so if you are develop such kind of application, then you need must SQLite in your application. Because in WhatsApp and Facebook, just you can observe after installation of after a few days, it became a huge in your in your mobile right it became a huge taste why 
day by day some data has storing locally in your application uh, even without net also i can access up to certain level of data means it can it can work in a both modes online and offline so that kind of application is very important nowadays so like when you click on until uh add to cart you can do but once you click on purchase there it required the internet like that it should be required this so that is a very important one this is the skill like this right so that we can use many things in this sql like next is the google maps nowadays this google maps tracking also very important for your application so like you can share your location sharing you want real time navigations so those other things like google maps is a very important role it can place on your sis so that can be helped for here this next is the google play store so if you are a developer must you have the knowledge on this play store without this knowledge you cannot because nowadays lot of many restrictions many things has involved in this so to upload a play store of app and to maintain that application in a store that is a very very important nowadays so that it can be very used now without having that proper knowledge on this if you upload the application maybe that will be crashed i mean that will cannot be approved by the google so that's the reason this knowledge and terms and what are the terms and conditions that is very very important these days like that is very huge required these concepts so now for example let us i have created my own application or client hosting that ads in their application so you need to have the knowledge on the ad move how to create this account and how to upload the apps in a play store and what are the things as required for that so that how to maintain that regular maintenance like many rules regulations are there in this so those things you have to knowledge on this area right next is the git repositories like i am a developing application along with me someone is also working on the same application so i have to code backups push and pull like today i worked 8 hours end of the day suddenly my laptop my hard disk has crashed then i lose this 8 hours data right so to avoid those type of circumstances you need to use the git once one functionality has completed or end of the day you can push the code into the git repositories and easily you can get tomorrow laptop has changed also just you can install android studio just you can pull the code from the git and you can continue your work and same time second person is working so the second person has worked on uh, 10 files i am working on the uh, five files merging up those two files also very very uh, means it's a very complicated uh, activity to avoid that this will automatically uh, combine the both changes once i push you push both will combine together and you uh, pull the code he he also pull the code then both will get the updated code so that you if you are a developer must you have to knowledge on this area without this knowledge you are not a developer right so this is about what you have to have the things become a proper developer in our android right now if you have any questions on this not only whatever i covered the topic apart from outside also related to this your android or if you are in other platform your career related if you have any questions also you can ask me i will guide you on that no questions what about average salary so 
in a not only in hyderabad now if you go anywhere that depends on the company if it is a mnc you will get a minimum 15 to 20 if it is a startup company you will get in between of the 8 to 12 for the pressure experience that depends Even one, one more thing I want to cover here, you asked this question, like if you are a fresher now, you don't have full knowledge on any technology, not only in Android, if you have basic things in a Java or you have basic things in PHP, if you went for interview, so they said some company, it is a good company only, but they say that uh, you can work for one month or two months free, then based on your uh, uh, performance we will give the salary that kind of some people will ask like that also if you are financially to okay to survive that two months or three months you can go and join there because even i they won't give after the, after two months if even though they won't give the job also you will understand office environment how the work is going on how the tasks are assigning like that kind of uh, some uh, some things you can understand. If you financially okay with that, you can go and join that. Maybe that is a two months. Even if you are outside also, maybe in that two months you will get job or not. That no one guarantee. If you go there, you will learn something. So that one thing I want to tell. The next, just compose is not covered. Jet Compose is not covered in this course. So Jet Compose is the advanced component. Like, uh, like I'll basically for the all pressure people are joined. That maybe for those people it is not required. But if you people want that topic, I'll take one or two sessions on that Jet Compose related on the course. No worry on that because we are already using in uh, our projects. So just I'll spend one or two hours extra to explain that concept. So here, I whatever the things I shown here, those are the highlighted things, but in detail, lot of things are there in our course. So latest standard 14 has came right. So we'll, uh, do with the uh, course will Android 14 only. Okay, so what kind of projects we will do? Will we do in our course? Normally, we won't do any full project here because I'm frankly saying that if I promise, uh, will I'll do project, but end of the course, I say this is the project small. Like frankly, I'm saying. We cannot do any full project, but whenever we are discussing about our web services, right? There, I'll do sample project structure, like many, like 10 to 12 different kinds of programs I'll combine in a single project. There, I'll explain you how the real-time project will go how to integrate one by one feature. Like I'll explain with the 10 to 12 features in a single project so that you can understand there the project structure. Or if you have knowledge already, if you are working some project, if you stuck somewhere, you can approach me. I'll guide you on that specific area. Yes, hope it is clear. Right? Offline classes, yeah, as of now, uh, offline classes is not available uh, from my side. Maybe other faculty has providing, but my side, offline classes are not there. Because I'm a working professional, so traveling and everything is not possible for me. So just I'm taking the online classes. This duration of the course is it's uh, 45 days. Total 50 hours of the session it is.
So, any other questions? So, I want to uh, cover a few things here now. So, like my course, how the my course will go. So, here, whatever the Android latest version, now this, with Android latest version 14, my course will start now. So, up to this uh, last month, I started the course with Android 13, but this month onwards, I'm starting with Android 14 because that is the latest version. And uh, whatever the examples I'm discussing in our class, each and every line I'll write in front of you people, then I can go step by step with explanation. Like every line, each and every line I'll write in front of you people only. I'll explain what is what in detail. And if that partic any the particular topic which is important for the interview, I'll explain in detail. This is uh, important for this interview and how to answer that in interview point of view that I'll explain you. And 30% of programs are predefined, like regular, like basic. That is the basic programs are never changed. The 30 pro pro programs are same. And apart from that, whatever the programs we are going to discuss in our class, that vary from batch to batch. So today I'm going to related on SQLite related program. So the SQLite related program, whatever the program should come in my brain that time, I'll do that. I'll implement that program here. Not predefined program. Like I'll implement on the go, I'll implement that normally that is. And for just now I said web services. The web services that is, uh, I'll show you with real time database. So where you are interacting with that, I have a, some uh, predefined APIs. So with those predefined APIs, we can connect directly to the server and we can access that server code and we can see that direct live. And just now I said the project related, that project related I'll give. And end of the each session, I'll give some tasks so that uh, you will get more scope on that. It means if you practice those tasks, easily you can survey with one to two years ex of experience in the outside market. Like that, you can do that. And I'll share one PDF. That PDF will contain uh, theoretical and practical examples. Apart from that, regularly whatever the programs will discuss that also i'll share with you people and you will get the recording of the session also so if you have and like i will give some sample resume if you want to uh, suggestions on resume you can prepare your resume if any modifications are required i'll do that so it's a one hour session. Every day it is one hour session. So this is uh, with Kotlin. I'm going to teach the course with Kotlin. Because it's a uh, outside nowadays, everyone are using with the Kotlin. Everyone are using with the Kotlin because every new project are starting that people are going with the uh, start with the Kotlin because it's a trending technology. So we are going with that trending technology. Mm -hmm. Right, any other questions? Okay, hope it is clear. Then if you are interested, you can join tomorrow 7 p.m. Right, thank you for joining. Cost of the course is six or ten thousand. Every day, yes, same time, seven to eight. Yes, seven evening, seven to eight, seven p.m. to eight p.m. Uh, sir, what about means um, for demo sections? It's in like a ten to eleven a.m. like that in Zoom meeting. No, 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 no. 
లేటర్ నాట్ నౌ that is already 50% of how, how much time it will be taken Completely. because uh, my office shift is uh, 10 to 7 so mm-hmm. that uh, after uh, 8 o'clock only i can reach them yeah maybe so that uh, next to by november 20 to in between of november 20 26th uh, 9 pm batch will start okay and uh, see i actually i am changing the i am trying to change the platform so okay. just now i am working on the system administrator okay. as a uh, as a fundamentals of basics i i do not know anything about this android yeah no worry that because this is uh, kotlin is a completely new language to everyone so i'll uh, teach uh-huh. from scratch if you are uh, it will be I have to learn anything about Java, C++, because I don't know anything about that. Yeah, if you don't have any knowledge, no need to specifically learn. Uh, just you oh. can uh, see those uh, basic uh, things on uh, videos is enough that you can see basic okay. videos that is enough. Or you can read the okay. basic tutorials. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So you have any other questions, Sai? no sir okay no, so sir. okay then we'll wind up the session today thank you for joining thank you thank you thank you sir.